Hey there, I'm Daniel Hart, co-creator and executive producer of the Xavius Pictures series, The Hart Siblings. Our show has been out of production for several years now, but there was a time when we thought we might be coming back for another season, so much so in fact that we had actually written scripts for a few new episodes of the show. One of those scripts we reworked to be an epilogue to the series, which we produced and released back in 2022, but the other ones, as I said, never made it to production, and so we thought it would be fun to release those by just performing a table read of those unproduced scripts. So I hope you enjoy the following read-through of an unproduced episode of The Heart Siblings. All right, well, I'm Daniel. That's my sister, Katie. Who is this guy? He's not one of the two people who are usually in Xavier's picture stuff. No, my name is Jonathan. I'm a fan that also makes movies. And so here, I won something. <laughs> I won the role of reading the scene headings and descriptions. Yes. And you're also one of our best and dearest friends oh, and you. graciously agreed to come out and help us out do Likewise. this today. So. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're here to read through a, a script for an episode of The Heart Siblings that was never produced. Till today. Until today. This is it. This is never before seen. I was thinking I would read the part of Daniel. Oh, shake it up a little bit. Shake it Can up. I be Katie next time? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe on the next one. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, with that, I'm going to turn it over to you and get okay. us started. Yeah. This episode is titled Glasses, written by Daniel Hart. The Hart Siblings Glasses. Interior bonus room day. Katie is sitting on the couch doing something silly. Daniel enters, not wearing his glasses. Hey, did you take my glasses? Katie looks up, sees Daniel, and screams bloody murder. Ah! She falls out of her seat and crawls across the floor into the corner of the room, waiting for the slasher movie villain to get her. Daniel just looks slightly confused, but mostly annoyed. Um... Squinting eyes. Daniel? What's wrong with your face? You look so weird. Yeah, I can't find my glasses. Have you seen them? You don't wear glasses. Daniel has nothing to say to this. You wear glasses? You're the reason I listen to Ska. <laughs> <laughs> well, put them back on. You're freaking me out. I'm trying, but I... Wait, what do you mean I'm freaking you out? Your face! It's horrifying! You have such beady little rat eyes. It's like they're not even open. Can you even see me right now? No, because I... And you have such dark circles under your eyes. You look like a zombie, like a sick, tired, antisocial zombie who never leaves his parents' basement with food poisoning. You just look so sad. Oh, are you sad? Long, heavy sigh. <sighs> yes. I'm also not loving that haircut. <gasps> Can I give you a makeover? Sure, after you help me find my glasses. If I give you a makeover, you won't need glasses. Don't you watch movies? <laughs> That's not how it works. I can't see without my glasses. I can't see without my glasses. Okay, dork. You sound like Velma from Scooby-Doo. And you kind of sound like my sister Katie. Of course, there's no way of knowing for sure because I can't see! Wait, you, you really can't see without them? No, Katie, I wear the glasses because I like looking like Squid from Rocket Power. <laughs> you wish you were Squid. You look more like Gus from Recess. That feels like a lateral move. I'm gonna go. Katie grabs a nearby Nerf gun and fires it at Daniel, who isn't even looking at her. She hits him square in the throat, causing him to gag and wheeze. <laughs> you so didn't see that coming. You shot me! Dude! You're blind! I know! Katie begins to duck her head around in evasive maneuvers, amusing herself. Hey, where am I? You don't know because you're blind! How many fingers am I holding up? You're not holding any up, are you? Ha! <laughs> Don't worry, I'll help you find your glasses. You're supposed to, I did not see it. Oh, 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 sorry. Wow. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll help you find your glasses. Okay, why, why are you yelling? I wanted to make sure you could hear me. Yeah, that's never been an issue. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do they look like? Tortoise shell, thick frame, kind of square. Katie is... St staring, I can read, staring at the wall with a dumb smile on her face, completely zoned out and seemingly unaware that Daniel is in the room. He snaps his fingers to draw her attention back. What? You're still here? Did you hear anything I just said? Uh, something about 
Giraffes? No, I was describing my glasses. I'm not an auditory learner. You gotta help me visualize it. Daniel looks around for a second, unsure. He makes circles with his fingers and holds them over his eyes. In the style of Chuck, Katie flashes on Daniel's face. I, I got it! I know where your glasses are! Did you just have a vision? Uh, no. Having a vision looks like this. In the style of That's So Raven, Katie has a vision of... Uh, what happened? It's, it's, we're cutting to oh, okay. like a new scene. Oh, a new vision. scene. Yeah. The interior. It's the vision scene. Interior, <laughs> bonus room, day, the vision. I understand. Katie is standing in front of Daniel, holding, holding his glasses. It is my great honor to hereby restore unto you the gift of sight. End vision. Interior, bonus room, day, back to the present. Dan, sorry, Katie snaps out of it and looks at Daniel like, see... Oh, what's a brain blast? Not in the budget. Did you hear what I said? I know where your glasses are. And yet here I stand without them. I can't believe you're gonna have glasses again. I, I can't even picture how your face is gonna look with them. It'll be so weird. You just said I look weird without them. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, maybe you're just weird looking. Goodbye. Wait, do you want your glasses or not? Oh, sorry. Well, he started to leave. I'm sorry. Say. Wait, do you want your glasses or not? He stops. Yes, please. Katie starts to get up, but then stops. What's it worth to you? Good golly. Interesting position we're in here. You want to be able to see. I want stuff. <laughs> Maybe there's an outcome here where everybody's happy. Oh, I highly doubt that. Make me an offer. Sorry. I'll do your homework for a month. No, let's save that for when you need my help asking the popular girl to the prom. Well, what do you want then? Here's my demands. I want $500,000 in unmarked bills. I want a helicopter with enough gas to get to Mexico. I want a lifetime supply of vanilla Nesquik powder because you can't find it in stores. Do I look like a hostage negotiator to you? Fumbling. I, I know you don't look like one to yourself because you don't look like anything to yourself. Because you can't see anything because of the glasses thing. D minus, what do you really want? <laughs> you and me do a sibling's Halloween costume of my choice every year until we die. I'm talking Dipper and Mabel. I'm talking Max and Ruby. I'm talking Ducky and Spike. Okay, yeah, I, I get it. Final offer, take it or leave it. Leave it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, new offer. One Halloween costume, and I get to pick the next five movies we watch together. No, ten. No, twenty. No, fifty. No, a hundred. Stop. You're going to fry your circuits. Do we have a deal? What's the costume? Ryan and Sharpay. <sighs> Fine. Be right back with your glasses. Katie runs out of the room. Angle on. Daniel waiting awkwardly. Sound effects, cartoon, clashing noises, clashing, <laughs> Wilhelm scream, ah, cat yowling. I'm not gonna do that. Katie enters holding his glasses. Got him! And where were they? On the windowsill in my bedroom. Why would they possibly? I was trying to funnel the sunlight through the lens to see if I could pop popcorn with it. Mm -hmm. I hate myself for asking this, but did that work? <laughs> I don't know. I stopped trying after like five seconds. Clear his throat, gets fancy. <clears throat> It is my great honor to hereby restore unto you the gift of sight. Daniel's POV. Katie places the glasses on his face and everything comes sharply into focus. She is staring at him with a goofy grin. He looks around the room, which is a disastrous mess. Great. The end. <laughs> and Yay. Yay, good job. What, what, what do you guys think of that one? That was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> it's so quick-witted. I, yeah. I mean, it kind of goes without saying. Like, I feel like every episode kind of has that. Yeah. Um, 
but the the references flying so quickly, mm -hmm. I couldn't keep up. It was just, it was good. It was like multiple watches to catch them all. I think. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. that's that's the idea. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like a Nolan movie. You have to watch it two or three times before uh -huh. you really understand what's going on. <laughs> well, I understood what was happening. It's not like a Nolan movie. I just don't get that at all. No, it's you just not sophisticated no enough to yeah. understand a Nolan. It's just film. to catch that's every joke. I forgot. Yeah. Nolan is a hot topic amongst the three of us. We shouldn't get into that. No, we're not, we're not the same thing about Nolan.